Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Crypto Corner, my weekly YouTube podcast where I'm talking everything blockchain related and cryptocurrencies, of course. Today we're going to review the top projects in the DeFi space. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. Well, there is a lot of buzz surrounding DeFi cryptocurrencies right now, and I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on what they are and their purpose. DeFi is short for decentralized finance. It is a pretty broad term, but the key thing here is that most of the projects in this space try to recreate financial services in a decentralized manner. This can be earning interest, getting loans, trading synthetic assets or decentralized crypto trading exchanges, decentralized banking and so on without relying on any third party or intermediary. Instead, you put your trust in computer code or more precisely in smart contracts running on predominantly the Ethereum blockchain. Since the beginning of this year, DeFi has become the hottest term and it's featured everywhere news articles, YouTube videos, social media posts, you name it, it's there. There's loads of talk about DeFi these days and for a good reason. The best performing tokens and coins in the crypto space are in fact those that work within the area of decentralized finance. So let's take a look at what they are and what innovation they offer in this space. In a post on my blog, I talked about DeFi and listed these cryptocurrencies without going into much details of their technicals. So in this video, I decided to go a step further and give you a more in-depth breakdown of the most popular DeFi tokens and coins, starting with MakerDAO. It's one of the most successful DeFi projects and it has over a billion dollars in committed assets. According to Coindesk, MakerDAO's dominance over other DeFi projects comes in at around 27%. It was first formed in 2015, so it's not a new project, but they didn't launch their stablecoin DAI until 2017. MakerDAO serves as a smart contract platform on the Ethereum blockchain that backs and stabilizes the value of their stablecoin DAI. Maker was among the first decentralized governance protocols and holders of the Maker token govern the Maker protocol, which are the smart contracts that power the Ethereum-based token DAI. So they have two tokens. One is MKR, Maker token, and the other one is DAI. The Maker tokens are created or destroyed following price fluctuations of DAI, so they're interconnected. The goal is to keep the price of DAI at around $1. Maker tokens are also used to pay transaction fees on the Maker DAO system and provide holders with voting rights within the network's continuous approval voting system. Maker tokens are also traded on all good exchanges including Binance, Qcoin, Bittrex and Poloniex. Token metrics gives Maker a very good fundamental score of over 80%. At the moment we can see that the token maker has a market cap of around half a billion dollars. The circulating supply is a million tokens and um, it reached its peak, its all-time high on the 14th of August when the price was $793 and the market cap reached $713 million worth in market cap. It has since been correcting and it's currently standing at around $500. Okay, so next on my list is Chainlink, and this is a decentralized Oracle service which aims to connect smart contracts with data from the real world. I've already talked about Link in a few previous videos and posts on my blog, so you're probably familiar with Link. Since blockchains cannot access data outside their network, Oracles like Link are needed to function as data feeds in smart contracts. Oracles provide external data like temperature, weather, price analytics and other data that trigger smart contracts execution upon the fulfillment of predefined conditions. Participants on the Chainlink network are incentivized through rewards to provide smart contracts with access to external data feeds. Should users desire access to off-chain data, they can submit a requesting contract to Chainlink's network. These contracts will match the requesting contract with the appropriate oracles. The contracts include a reputation contract, 
an order matching contract and an aggregating contract. The aggregating contract gathers data of the selected oracles to find the most accurate result. This is how Chainlink operates. It aims to bridge the gap between on-chain smart contracts and the off-chain information that is crucial to run those smart contracts. The team has been building decentralized oracles on Bitcoin and Ethereum previously for more than three years. The team is also working with Swift on their oracle called Swift Smart Oracle. This will allow smart contracts on various networks to make payments send governance instructions and release collateral with over 11,000 banks. Only 35% of the Link's total supply is currently circulating and this amounts to 350 million tokens. The current market cap is around $3.5 billion and it reached a peak on the 16th of August this year when the market cap reached $7 billion and the price of a single token was at around $19. It has since been correcting and it's currently sitting at around $10 per token. The overall fundamental score of token metrics is very good again, it's over 80%. And uh, token metrics is in fact one of the websites that I'm using the most in my data analysis because it gives us so many tools. All of the data that you need is here including their unique AI-powered, artificial intelligence-powered price prediction tool, which is by far the best from all of the price prediction tools that I've seen. Uh, you can see here, this is actually quite correct right now. We're looking at the Chainlink price prediction. Uh, this is the Maker DAO price prediction. Again, it's been really close. The blue line is the price prediction line and the red line is what actually happened. And uh, this has this tool alone has helped me make thousands of dollars in the last few months already. Uh, I do technical analysis, of course, but sometimes my technical analysis was kind of contradicting what the price prediction tool was showing me here. And uh, the price prediction tool has been better than my technical analysis because, of course, I looked at a few different um, metrics and indicators and uh, this website is looking at far more indicators than, than what I'm doing. So um, I've been very happy with token metrics and this is why I will be quoting it quite a lot in this video. If you want to check it out, it's not a free tool, but it's well worth the money. I've already made far more than I paid for it and you can check out the link. I have a 10% discount with my link in the description box below. Okay, moving over to the next token and this is Band Protocol. It is similar to Chainlink. It is also a decentralized data oracle service and it's making data readily available to be acquired on chain using delegated proof of stake to ensure data integrity. It aims to be the go-to data infrastructure layer for the Web 3.0 applications by providing decentralized curated off-chain data to smart contracts through oracles managed by its de delegated proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. It is a permissionless blockchain protocol to create token curated communities, each with its own personalized tokens. It makes it easy for any entities, developers, companies, brands or even celebrities to issue a personalized community token used to curate data in their specific community. These community tokens used via continuous bonding curve are used as an economic incentive for curators to provide good, reliable set of data within the community. Band Protocol is a cross-chain Oracle data platform that aggregates and connects real-world data and APIs to smart contracts. Band Chain is aiming to build a high-performance public blockchain that allows anyone to make a request for APIs and services available on the traditional web. It is built on top of the Cosmos protocol and it utilizes Tendermint's Byzantine Fault Tolerance Consensus algorithm to reach immediate finality. This finality is specifically reached upon getting confirmations from a sufficient number of block validators. Bandchain's network consists of a number of network participants, each owning band tokens. Those participants can be broken down into two groups. They're the validators and the delegators that follow Cosmos-based delegated proof-of-stake blockchain. 
the band token is also with a very good fundamental score on token metrics of over 70 percent there are currently 20 million tokens in circulating supply 20 million and a half in fact the total supply will be 100 million and um, it reached a peak on the 2nd of September this year when the token was valued at $15 around 15 I think 15.35 was at its high and its market cap reached 321 million it has been correcting since then so the current market cap is 135.2 million current price is around 6.59 so it could be a good time for accumulation if you're looking to get into DeFi all right well the next token is syntaxis and syntaxis network is a derivatives liquidity protocol their goal is to act as the backbone for decentralized derivatives trading by allowing users to gain exposure to synthetic assets running on the ethereum blockchain essentially the synthetics platform allows for the creation of on-chain synthetic assets that track the value of assets in the real world the project initially was called haven but later it was rebranded to Syntexis Network in 2018. With the rebranding, the project launched with a whole slate of new features. Their native token, SNX, Synthetics Network token, which is used to collateralize synths, which are the tokens that provide access to assets such as gold, silver, Bitcoin, the US dollar, stocks like Tesla, Apple and many more, and even complex assets like equity indices this DeFi project is trying to solve liquidity and slippage issues common for tokens trading on dexes decentralized exchanges holders of the snx token stake the coin to get paid a portion of the fees generated from the exchange activity the token is currently traded on a few exchanges including qcoin with around over a million in daily volume it has a very good fundamental score on token metrics of over 83 percent we can see that the circulating supply is 101 and a half million which is half of the total supply which will be 203 million and uh, it reached the peak on the 1st of september this year so not long ago just a few weeks ago uh, when it reached uh, 7.43 per token that was the price in dollars and the market cap was 879 million dollars it's currently been correcting it's sitting at around five dollars and uh, the market cap currently is um, 500 and just over 500 million dollars okay next on my list is Bancor BNT the Bancor network offers a marketplace that facilitates the exchange of crypto assets that may otherwise lack consistent liquidity on exchanges. Bancor provides the service of a DEX decentralized exchange as well as a wallet. The site is now releasing Bancor 2.0 version to improve on the service and the Bancor protocol enables automatic price determination and an autonomous liquidity mechanism for tokens on smart contract blockchains. The Bancor network token BNT is used as the hub network token connecting all tokens in the Bancor network. We can see that it also has a very good score, fundamental score on token metrics over 76 percent and the circulating supply is the total supply which is 69.1 million so all of the tokens have already been issued the current uh, market cap is 60 million and uh, it reached the peak on the 5th of august when the market cap was 129 million and the price of a single token was 2.43 dollars right next one on my list is compound compound was uh, actually one of the first DeFi projects to gain massive attention in the current DeFi cycle it was launched in 2017 so it is not a new project and it was launched in the middle of the parabolic crypto bull run as a result its native token comp skyrocketed in value before correcting to its current levels Compound is an algorithmic autonomous interest rate protocol built for developers. The goal is to allow users to earn interest on their crypto holdings within the Compound ecosystem, which operates as a decentralized finance lending protocol built again on Ethereum. 
it enables users to borrow or lend from a pool of assets. COMP is the native token running on the Ethereum blockchain and its purpose is to govern the autonomous compound protocol with which users can earn interest on their holdings. They can also short assets that they believe are overvalued and they can obtain assets without purchasing them. Stakeholders who hold at least 1% of COMP tokens in circulation can submit governance proposals. In contrast, stakeholders with fewer coins can vote on proposals or delegate their votes to other community members. Surprisingly, Compound has recently surpassed MakerDAO in terms of assets within the recent DeFi search as they have over 1.5 billion in committed assets. MakerDAO has just over a billion. Token Metrics gives it a good overall good fundamentals score of just over 70%. Not the best, but still quite a high score. And um, we can see that the circulating supply is still only 2.6 million out of a total supply of 10 million tokens. The market cap currently is over $350 million worth, and uh, it reached the peak in 22nd of July this year, when it was evaluated at 846 million in market cap, the token alone was $336. All right, well, moving on to my next one, and it is Lend Protocol or Aave. It is an open source and non custodial protocol to earn interest on deposits and borrow assets. The total supply is one billion two hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand and nine hundred and forty two lend tokens and has a very good overall score on token metrics as seen in this screenshot it is almost 70 percent again it's over 50 percent so this is not too bad and uh, we see that the circulating supply is in fact the total supply 1.3 billion the current market cap is 720 million and it reached a peak on the 29th of August this year when it was over $1 billion in market cap and the price of each token was around 80 cents of a dollar. Moving on to the next one, Aave, by the way, is not the only lending protocol in the DeFi space. In fact, the decentralized lending industry is thriving this year with not one but more than 10 strong blockchain-based projects competing for their share of the billion dollar market that is lending and borrowing with Nexo, Celsius, Aave, MakerDAO and BlockFi being the current leaders. So I just mentioned Nexo, this is also the next one on my list. Nexo is just like Aave, it comes in as a leader in crypto lending projects. It is backed by one of the leading European fintech groups, Credissimo, and Nexo launched in 2018 as the world's first instantly crypto-backed loan platforms. It allows investors and businesses to access instant cash while retaining ownership of their cryptocurrency holdings. In their launch year alone, Nexo raised over $50 million. As Nexo is a crypto-backed loan service, the platform primarily exists for instant crypto overdrafts. This statement means that with Nexo, you can overdraft your account to get cash to spend while keeping your crypto, including the profits. One of Nexo's most appealing aspects is that it is a licensed and regulated financial institution in the European Union. The Nexo token provides holders with regular passive income in the form of 30% of the company's profits. This is what makes it a very high in demand token. The first dividend payout using the Nexo token was in 2018 and reportedly totaled $912,000. The native token also allows for discounted interest rates on Nexus instant loan service, amounting to 50% off while also being used as collateral on the platform. You can see that the token metrics are giving it a very good fundamental score of over 72% and the circulating supply is 560 million, which is half of the total supply of 1 billion tokens. Current market cap is 72 million and it reached a peak on the 5th of August this year when the market cap was 132 million and the price of one token was at 23 cents of a dollar. 
it has since been correcting is about 50% lower than its all-time high. Okay, moving on to the next one on my list. This is Polkadot. This is an open source protocol that wants to enable cross-blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset. This means that Polkadot gives you the ability to interoperate with a wide variety of blockchains within the Polkadot network. The native token is called DOT and it serves three main purposes, governance, staking and bonding. Governance means that DOT holders are the ones who control the protocol. Staking makes the network more secure by rewarding good actors and bonding makes sure that bonding tokens verify that new parachains are useful. In short, Polkadot is a scalable, heterogeneous multi-chain that aims to make cross-blockchain networks work together under the protection of a shared security called pooled security, where Polkadot's validators secure multiple chains. Polkadot's goal is to enable true interoperability, cross-blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset, not just tokens, and to provide a framework under which new blockchains may be created and to which existing blockchains can, if their communities desire, be transitioned. Polkadot blockchain implements nominated proof-of-stake scheme. This scheme allows participants who do not wish to run nodes to be able to help with the validator section and is privacy oriented as well, implementing a parachain utilizing the properties of ZK SNARKs, the privacy protocol of Zcash, in order to ensure that identities of transactors are kept private. Its fundamental score on token metrics is the, one of the highest of all of these tokens here. We can see that the circulating supply is 852 and a half million tokens just short of the total supply which is 988 million current market cap is 3.6 billion in fact and it reached a peak on the 1st of september when it reached 5 billion in us dollars market cap evaluation and the price of a single token was at 630 it has been correcting since and moving on to the next one, which is one of the newest tokens in the DeFi space. In fact, the newest token, it was launched just a couple of weeks ago. It's called Uni. It comes from Uniswap, the decentralized exchange that has been making a lot of news this year. And also it created a huge buzz in the crypto community by airdropping 400 Uni tokens to each user of the Uniswap DEX. I posted another video about that. My previous video, in fact, was about how to get your 400 UNI tokens for free if you have traded on Uniswap exchange before the 1st of September. This is when the snapshot was taken. Uh, it was one of the biggest airdrops to date, worth uh, over $2,000 in the first two days of the launch. The price of the token jumped to around $7. In fact, it was... Uh, just above $7 on the 19th of September, when the total market cap of the coin was at 732 million evaluation. It has been correcting since, and it is around $5 currently. It is the governance token of the Uniswap protocol, which allows users to delegate votes and influence the protocol's future. The token has a deflationary model of distribution which rose over a period of four years and it is built to be one of the strongest tokens in the DeFi realm. Uniswap DEX is currently the most popular decentralized exchange and earlier this year it even surpassed Coinbase Pro in trading volume. It was launched in 2018 as an exchange that allows decentralized trading for Ethereum-based ERC20 tokens. We see that token metrics is giving it a very good overall fundamental score of 80%. These scores, by the way, are based on a number of criteria, not just one or two criteria points. They take into account the initial screening of the token, where the tokens uh, were sold, how they were issued, what is the scarcity, is there a deflationary model in place, uh, what is the market standing, do you have any customers and users, what does the token fulfill any utility, 
Also, are they leading the pack in terms of their competi competition? Does the token create a market or whether it creates any value for the network? Also, they look at the development, the liquidity, the marketing even, the reputation of the team, the developers and everything, uh, the security of the network, the code. All of these things are taken into account when they're evaluating the fundamentals score. So an overall score of 80% is quite high, as you can see. The circulating supply is 96.9 million. The total supply will be 1 billion and it will be rolled over the next four years. The token was immediately listed, one of the quickest listings that we've seen lately on all major exchanges, including Binance and OKX, Coinbase Pro, Poloniex, Huobi and Qcoin. All right, well, that concludes my report for today. These were the top DeFi projects, currently the hottest coins and tokens in the DeFi space. If you are interested in DeFi and if you are wanting to trade, make sure that you also check out Token Metrics because that website is going to give you invaluable data and information that you can use to your benefit to make the most of your investments. Also, if you're new to cryptocurrencies and you need to know more, go to my website learncryptonow.com or my personal website ojjordan.com where you will find my book Learn Crypto which is a full beginner's guide to investing in cryptocurrencies and you can also check out crypto-corner.com my blog where you will find loads of free content related to cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Thank you for watching and if you haven't yet subscribe to this channel follow me and get notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Well, thank you for being here. If you learned something today, consider subscribing to this channel or if you're already subscribed, please hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I'm posting a new video. This is how you can show your support. I'm not asking for donations. So this is really your way to support this channel. Also here you will find links to my social media accounts. So find me on social media and let's get connected.